everybody, it's is Sarah and today we're continuing the TV show series here with Spark Notes. This lovely person over here recommended that I do Alicia Flora from The Good Wife. My favorite part about getting all these suggestions is finding like so many good new shows to watch. Apparently I've been living like under a rock because I had no idea The Good Wife was already in its fifth season. But yeah, I really like her character and I really like the makeup. It's very strong and it's professional and it draws attention to all the right features without being too overwhelming. Um, so if you want to see how to do Alicia Floyd makeup for yourself, then just keep watching. Okay, so starting off with the eyes, I'm going to go straight into the eyebrows and for the brows and pretty much the entire eye look, I'm going to be using the Naked Basics palette. It's just a really uh, handy palette and I really like all the matte colors. So I'm going to be using a little bit of Crave and Faint. So I'm going to mix these two um, dark brown colors and then apply that straight to my brows with an angled brush. I noticed her brows are a little bit more angular, so I'm going to try and do that. Um, she definitely has like a higher arch than I do. I'm more of a straight brow person. She has really awesome arched brows. So I'm going to try and follow that a little bit, but not too much because my brows are still naturally pretty straight. Okay, so as you can see, my brows are still naturally a bit fuller than hers, but there's nothing much that I can do about that. Um, I am going to prime my eyes for the eyeshadow using my favorite eye product ever. Um, it's the Maybelline 24 hour eyeshadow, tattoo, cream shadow, whatever, in Barely Branded. So I'm just applying this straight to the eyes and all over the eyelid, even up to the brow bone. Okay, so she has like a variety of different looks that she goes for. Um, sometimes it's really dark and smoky, or other times it's a little bit lighter and there's a cut crease. Um, but pretty much every single time, she's just using dark matte colors, or brown matte colors. So I'm going to go off of the promotional picture. So what I'm going to do is take this light tan color, um, which is called Naked 2, and then apply that all over the lid. So this one is a bit more of a cut crease, so there's going to be some light and some darkness. It's not all just going to be smoky. But first I'm just setting this down as a base. The same brown color that I used on my eyebrows, just faint. I'm going to run that along the crease and then blend it out a little bit. Her eyes are really deep set, so it naturally looks very shadowy no matter what she wears. But if yours aren't as deep like mine, then adding some really dark brown, warm colors helps create that illusion. Next, I'm going to go into Crave and very, very lightly deepen the crease color. For the upper brow highlight, I'm going to apply this warm, um, cream shade called Foxy to the brow bone and this will just add some highlight up here. Next I'm going to take Venus which is the only shimmery shade in the palette. It's actually more of a sheen but it's a really nice light champagne color and with the same pencil brush I'm going to apply that to the very center of the lids and this will add some dimension to the eyes. Like I said her eyeballs are like really big and deep set so just going to try and recreate that. Next I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Line Stiletto Liner in Blackest Black. I'm going to line my top lash line uh, just with a really simple line. Nothing fancy, no wings or anything. To line my lower lash line, it's actually just the inner rim. I'm going to be using my trusty white eyeliner from Mimo London, and this is their soft coal liner in 071 Pure White. I'm just going to run that along the inner rim, brightens up the eyes. Before I get to my top lashes, I'm going to fix my lower lashes first. And I found this really cool method of um, 
defining your lower lashes. Now instead of using mascara, which can very easily clump up your lashes, um, you can actually use liquid liner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get my liquid liner out, hold it vertically, and then run it along my lashes. This is a really great way to define the lashes and also tint them if you have dark lashes. I mean, light blonde lashes. Um, without running the risk of clumping because that's one of my pet peeves clumpy mascara especially on the lower lash line because it just it's really hard to fix and then you try to you know mess with it and it just smudges everywhere so this is a lot easier and it's a lot because it's a lighter formula it won't clump so just very carefully and it's always easier to do the lower lashes before you do the top ones So it's nothing crazy, but it adds some definition without all the clumpiness. Now for the actual top lashes, I'm going to give them a quick curl. Um, this is the Eyelash Curler by Bobbi Brown. And then apply the Rimmel London Scandalize Mascara in black. Black? Black is black? Um, yeah, and then it has the Lycra Flex technology for lengthening the lashes. So it's really nice. I really like it. So for the blush, um, she always wears pretty standard, no-nonsense colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this dark orangey shade. It's kind of a mix between a bronzer and a blush. I'm going to lightly tap some on to my brush and then apply it sort of back here. So not... She doesn't wear cool colors like here, you know, that bright in the face. It's more like, you know, it's a sensible color. It uh, contours and adds blush and color all in one. For the lip color, you actually have two options. The first is this beige, pink, slightly gray toned color. And this is what she's wearing like in the promotional posters and stuff. And it's just a very neutral, plain color. On um, the second, oh, and so, I'm sorry, it's by CoverGirl. It's their Nature Lux um, Gloss Balm in number 235. The second color is one that she wears more often in the series. I looked up some clips, and it's really interesting. Um, and it's this brick red color. So it's kind of like wearing a red, but it's more brown. Um, so I know she wears that as well. And both of the colors look nice with the eyes. It's not too dramatic or anything like that. So first I'll show you what the lighter color looks like. So as you can see, it's not really anything spectacular or mind-blowing. And um, I'm actually not the biggest fan of these simply because um, they're made with petroleum and I can taste it. So, but it adds a nice color and it's a glossy balm so it feels nice on the lips at least. Okay, so now I'm going to blow off that color and then show you how the red looks. This is what the brick red looks like, and we're pretty much done. That was the makeup for Alicia Floric from Good Wife. Um, I didn't do a whole lot with the hair. It, I just kind of curled the ends a little bit. It's really nothing spectacular. Um, her hair is also pretty, that's pretty sensible. Um, but yeah, so I hope you liked this installment of the TV series series. Um, I hope you enjoyed. And again, if you have any other shows that you want to see me recreate, um, either the hair or the hair and makeup, feel free to leave them in the comments. And I hope you have a lovely day. I'll see you next time. Bye.